in many neighborhoods. Young people knocking on your door trying to sell you pizza, wrapping paper, and cookies. They're most often raising money for school or team activities, but like so many other things these days, the fundraising landscape is changing and it's going digital. Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop looks into how it works and if the digital way is kind of the easy way out. For the NDSU Women's Hockey Club, they are enjoying the victory. The championship team just got back this week from Pennsylvania, where the national game was held. But this team of 22 almost didn't get to compete. Before we were supposed to leave for nationals, we were crunching some numbers and we realized that we really didn't have the, um, enough money to get us there. The women's club hockey team here at NDSU is only 85% funded by the school, leaving 15% of funds they must come up on their own. We have to come up with through fundraising, players' fees, and donations, and we have a few sponsors. The trip to nationals was going to cost the team about $10,000. To get the rest of the money they needed, they used a website called GoFundMe.com. Kate says it was a very effective and efficient way to raise the money. The team was able to connect with family and friends who live in other parts of the country. A way for like people to donate as little or as much as they would like and us to get that money right away. And We needed that extra push to be able to make the trip happen. Without that, we would have had to pay out of pocket and we might have not been able to go have the opportunity to win a national championship. Some people think this digital way of fundraising gives groups like this an easy way out. They think the digital way takes away learning the importance of personal contact and work ethic that most gain with traditional fundraising. But this championship hockey club disagrees. It really just brings our community together as well as expanding our community beyond the areas of Fargo or even Minnesota. I honestly don't think people realize how hard we work. We're students, we're athletes, and we're doing all the stuff on top of trying to get money to go play, and we still pay in at the beginning of the year to play. In Fargo, Ashley Bishop, Valley News Live. And by the way, the hockey team raised more than $2,500 for their trip to nationals. You might be interested to know the GoFundMe website, though, is not necessarily free. The website does take 5% of each donation. Well, the Fargo 